Hello kind of people, it's time to have a look at credit transactions, that means at AAT level 2 posting farm day books. We're going to use these books of prime entry uh, for sales day books, sales return day books, purchase day books, purchase returns day books. Just a quick reminder, they're just actually a list of the invoices sent or credit notes sent. They can of course in real life have lots of columns that can be analysed and also have other details like when they're paid for or received. The idea being that in our main ledger we want to post the totals. If we issue 100 invoices a day, that's 500 a week, that's an awful lot of entries into our sales account, or we can just post a day's totals or a week's totals in there and have a manageable sales account. Also, if we're on the phone to a customer, we might look in our day book first to find an invoice when it went out and then find it in the filing cabinet. If we do it the other way around, it'll take an awful lot longer. And this will be on a desk or on a computer, so we can sit there talking to our customer whilst we're located. So, on with it then. So, these are sales. They just happen to be credit sales so we're going to get the money for them later but they're still sales and they're still on that day and we're finishing off on the 7th sales day book will be fine as an entry and in our sales account of course it's net of VAT which means we need to put the VAT a lot less detail required so there's our credit entries as normal for sales, however we need a debit entry. If it was being paid for straight away, cast out, it would be debit the bank. So this is where it's going in our sales ledger control account. And it will be the total. So that is the amount that our customers owed us from sales. But we do of course have some sales returns. So we'll put those in, sales returns would be the debit, that is only one sales return, obviously happy customers, appropriate details, again the net which means an entry, that account, two debits adding up to 60. So our customers actually owe us £300, 360 sold, 60 return. So once we've got the, those up, we're going to have a quick look at our sales ledger accounts. So these are customer accounts, individual customer accounts. They're the same way around as the control account. But they're the individual items. So first, it would have the date of it. So it would have more details like an invoice number and the total and then our second invoice there we are but we've had the return of customer one same as the control account Back to our main ledger then and we'll do the purchases and then we'll do all the balancing off of I'll cheat on that otherwise it'll take too long. So we've done our sales but we know in fact further down we'll need to do the VAT and purchases. So purchase day book, all our invoices from suppliers. So purchases are debit, so we're starting to see here lumping them all together, saving a little bit of time. And then 
returns, two returns. Uh, purchase returns are debits, uh, credits rather, opposite to uh, purchases. Debit entry, of course, we owe that supplies 846. We sent 112 goods back. So we don't owe it them anymore. And that's our entries into our main ledgers. There's another video where I'll post it exam style into journals, and you can practice that on Osborne Books website. So we better have a look at our purchases ledger. So let's put these items in. So supplier one details DVD purchase order number. Won't be an order of course because it takes different amounts of time for orders to come in. There's a note there. Yes, we sent goods back after paying for them. Next week is going to owe us some money. So let's have a look when we put the returns in then. So it's just S3. Return table. Debit or credit note number, whichever one matters. We've only got the credit note number in. We owe them six, they know. Same goes back for a hundred, must be a previous order. Uh, S2, C, R, T, B, C, 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 I uh, bought, bought down, carried down on the last day, or 7th in this case, bought down on the 8th, owing money to suppliers, except of course for this one who owes us money. Uh, sales ledger accounts I've now balanced off. Traditional, carried down, bought down, and I've also balanced off to save time. Uh, main ledger account, so bought down, carried down, same date, simply. And what that allows us to do is a bit of reconciliation. So we can just start doing a little bit of maths. So the first thing I'm going to do, it doesn't matter which order we do these two activities in, is check that I've got the same amount in my customer accounts and my control account. So uh, sales ed control account says 300. Customer 1 is 180, customer 2 120. So our individual, there's only two of them, add up to our control account. Our purchase ledger says we owe our suppliers 734. Uh, 
let's have a look. So we've got three sixty four six eight. But this one has a minus number because they owed us some money. Still doing the same trick though. There we are, 734, 734. You'll do a lot more of that in the controls account unit. And of course, because we're good, we'll always do a mini trial balance. Even though we were kind of trading already, we've done double entry, so our debits and credits would still add up. So if we just look at the debits and credits for this exercise, 300 in our South Slater control account, 300 sales. VAT, we're actually owed. And that balances off perfectly, so we haven't made any mistakes. And that's our journey through posting into ledgers on our day books. Also have a look at where I've already posted a long time ago, posting into journals, exam style.